Lübeck's most recognizable landmark is the Holsten Tor, the main gate to the old town. It was built in the 15th century and is a remnant of the city's medieval fortifications. The Trave River forms a moat around the old town and empties into the Baltic. Maritime trade made the queen of the Hanseatic League rich and powerful in the Middle Ages. A museum here is devoted to the history of the Hanseatic League. The Trade Confederation started in the 12th century as a loose alliance of merchants. They joined forces for such risky ventures as trading expeditions to Novgorod in Russia. At its height, the League was made up of over 200 cities and dominated trade from Russia to Portugal. There isn't any one clear narrative history of the Hanseatic League that we're trying to tell here. We tell lots of stories about power and splendor and domination, but also about daring courage and decline. That's all part of it. The museum makes an attempt to put some kind of coherence into the Trade Confederation's nearly five centuries of history. Artifacts such as the early seals of Lübeck as a Hanseatic port complement reproductions and tableaus of the conflicts with the powerful Catholic Church, for example. The wealthy merchants and patricians did much to shape Lübeck including the city hall with its magnificent brick facades. The first Hanseatic diet was held here in 1356. Nearby is St. Mary's Church. It's a symbol of prestige and prosperity that towers over Lübeck's old town. In 1942, during World War II, St. Mary's Church and large parts of the old town were destroyed in a firestorm after a massive air raid. The broken bells that fell from the South Tower are now preserved as a reminder of the horrors of war. Right next door to St. Mary's Church is the Buddenbrooks House, a museum to one of the city's most famous sons, Nobel Prize winning author Thomas Mann. Another Nobel Prize winning author who left his mark on Lübeck is Günter Grass. He lived in Schleswig-Holstein for almost 30 years. The Günter Grass house has been collecting and presenting items related to the life of this versatile artist since 2002. Lübeck is also the home of a famous confectionery, Niederegger Marzipan. The family business that makes it was founded in 1806. It was a hit right from the start. Mr. Niederegger himself monitored the quality and was careful not to use the cheapest almonds, so no bad ones got mixed in. The business has been handed on through seven generations. A high value was always placed on quality, and that's still the case today. Lübeck may no longer be the queen of the Hanseatic League, but it still testifies to a rich and eventful history.